Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna go over 10 small changes that you can make in your life to dramatically improve it. These are all changes that I made in my life. None of them takes too much time to do. They're actually all fairly, fairly short amounts of time, and they will have a dramatic impact in helping you become more financially successful, having better relationships, and just in general, feeling better about yourself. Let's get into it. So 10 small changes to improve your life. I'm gonna start off with a big number one. Now, I know a lot of you folks are probably watching this video right now on your smartphone, and I totally recognize that, but my suggestion is actually getting rid of your smartphone. I ditched my smartphone about two years ago, and it has helped my focus dramatically, and it's improved the quality of my relationships, and it's helped me make a lot more money in my business because instead of reacting to other people and reacting to other influences that are going on around me with beeps and boops and rings and buzzes and light flashes, that I'm able to focus on what I wanna do and what I wanna make my life. Again, not gonna to go too deep into that, but let's go on to the small change number two. Now, small change to improve your life number two is drop out of school, okay? School is expensive, it is time consuming, and it you don't need it unless you're going, gonna be a lawyer, an engineer, or a doctor. And that's 3% or less of you. If you're going to be an engineer, doctor, lawyer, let me know down in the description. If you wanna learn business, if you wanna go in a career other than those, there's a lot better ways, a lot more cost-effective ways to learn whatever business you wanna get into. And also, school just takes up so much time and you don't need it. If you wanna learn anything, it's all available on YouTube. It's insane. Anything you want to do is at your fingertips. School, I really look at as just a crutch for folks who are not self-motivated, who, who you know, want to meet people that are around their same age. And that's great. If you're in a place or a position in life, you have rich parents who will pay everything, and you don't really have a goal or a motive, I mean, school's a great place, you know, to meet people and to party, but if you want to learn, if you want to make money, if you want to design your life the way you think it should be lived, it's just not necessary anymore, folks. Small change number three is quit your job. If it is not serving you, quit your job or make a decision to quit your job. Now, I know this may not sound like a small change, but it's really a mental thing. It's really a decision that you will make. I remember years ago, about 10 years ago now, I decided to quit my job. And again, it was a decision. And it was a decision that I owned fully. And once I decided to quit my job, I started opening my eyes to all of the other opportunities that were right in front of my face. And what I realized is I could make a lot of money on the internet and I started side hustles. I started taking them seriously because I took my decision to quit my job seriously. If your job is a negative force on your life, if you're not getting paid what you feel you deserve, if you just don't like your boss, you don't like the commute, you don't like waking up at a certain time, it's not serving you. Find a way to make income for yourself. Out, no, out here in America, there are more jobs than there are people. And the reason for that is, is many folks just don't want to work or they're learning to work for themselves. And it's a huge revolution that's going on. I encourage you to take part. And one of the best ways to earn an income, if you're looking to create a side income, is check out my software that we've built for anyone to become a local marketing consultant and start their own local marketing agency. Link is in the description. Small change number four. Again, this is a decision. This is a big decision, but it's a small change and it's removing all judgment from your life. Okay, you don't need it. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't help anyone. Judgment, it doesn't matter if folks are gay or straight or rich or poor or white or black or young or old. It doesn't matter. They have purple hair. They have green hair. They have blonde hair. They have a weird haircut. They're wearing 
weird clothing. They're saying things that are too direct. They're saying things that are too indirect. Forget it all. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If somebody makes you angry, that it's, it's not their fault, it's your fault. If somebody makes you sad, it's not their fault, it's your fault. Removing judgment lowers that anxiety, it lowers the fear, it lowers the aggravation, it lowers the depression. All of these things come from judging others and judging yourself. And in the words of another YouTuber I follow, Bia Heza, it is what it is. And if you're dedicating to make these changes, type in, I am removing judgment, or type in, I am you know, ditching my smartphone, or whatever that is, in the comments below. I'd love to know which changes you're interested in making in your life. Let's go to number five now. Number five, again, this doesn't take long, folks. I know you're thinking, this is gonna take forever. Books are boring. Yeah, you heard it. Number five is read a book. And here's a book I just read. It's called Turning the Flywheel by Jim Collins. This book, it's short. Look how thin this is. This book is, what is this? 36 pages. Not a very long book, but an incredibly profound book. And it's the distillation of a very successful man's journey in creating marketing and software products that take off on their own. And this is the distillation of 10,000 hours of knowledge into a book that took me 30 to 40 minutes to read. Books are the most efficient form of ingesting knowledge by far, by a large margin. Now the typical YouTube video, it might may take folks maybe a couple hours to make and then it's distilled into a shorter video. Books are edited, they're re-edited, every word is thought over, and when you find a good book, you're getting the summation of that person's entire experience of life in that area, and you're just having just a condensed crystal. It's like getting a, giving your wife, you know, asking a woman to marry you and giving her a lump of coal versus giving her a diamond, right? A diamond is just a refined form of coal. You want to get the diamond and books are the diamonds. They're the most efficient way of getting information by far. Read a book. A small change number six is listen to live music. Go out, go to a concert, get drunk, get stoned, go with some friends, have some fun dance, sing, party, whatever. Enjoy yourself. Support some artists. Music is one of the oldest forms of communication. Or it might be the oldest form of communication. And it's a worldwide universal form of communication. What I found in my travels around over 50 countries is that there's two universal languages. One is music. It doesn't matter what language you're singing or what instrument you're playing. You can make friends in any country, in, in, in North America, in South America, in Asia, in Africa, in Europe. If you play music or if you're around music, if you're enjoying music. And the second form of communication is soccer. Shout out to LAFC. I'm, I'm a, I love playing soccer. and met a lot of friends around the world doing that. Little change number seven is a fun one, and this is something I did back when I was in college, and it is test driving a car that you can't afford. Why? Why test drive a car? Well, first off, it's just fun. Second off, people don't know what, the, people don't know experiences that they don't have. I mean, go to the dealership, test drive an Aston Martin, test drive a Ferrari, test drive a Lamborghini, Go, go get a Rolls Royce two-tone and be rolling down the street real slow with the windows down in a quarter million dollar car. There's no better way to visualize your goals, to visualize your dreams than actually experiencing them. When you test drive a car you can't afford, with which dealerships are happy, to let you do if you're considering purchasing it. It's an amazing feeling. 
Going 100 miles an hour on a test drive in a Lamborghini, which is another thing I did in college, made me realize, wow, being rich will be freaking great. Being rich will be amazing. I'll be the king of the world. So I was driving Lamborghinis before I had a dollar when I was in debt in college because I wanted to feel it. I wanted to experience it. And that experience helped pull me forward into the life that I am living right now. You going to do it? What are you going to test drive? Let me know in the comments. Now, I know what you might be thinking. John, this suggestion is so stupid. Why do I have to do this? This won't really improve my life, will it? Will it? It'll feel a little uncomfortable, but try it out. And suggestion number eight is sing and dance. I know that seems like a, like a, maybe an awkward change. It's a small change, but singing and dancing, allowing your voice to just have fun, singing along to your favorite songs, or just dancing around to whatever music you like. I know that seems awkward, but it's great. Singing is one of the easiest ways to release endorphins. It's actually good for your mood and your mental stability and dancing as well. And I, I'm not the type of guy who would just like bust out dancing like in random places. But I, you know, in order to maintain our mental and emotional stability, we need to do things that lift us up. We need to do things that get us moving. I do a lot of yard work too. I love gardening. I know that may not seem like the person to do that, but doing all of this movement and even just harmonizing or whatever with your voice is fantastic. I sing a lot to my girls. I have two young girls. One is two, one is four. And this is just, this really helped me out at a time last year, actually, during the pandemic, that whole crazy thing. I don't, I still don't know what actually went on. If you guys have ideas, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But basically, we were cooped up. We were super locked down here in California. They didn't want anybody going out. And my family's, my family was all super anxious about what was going on, didn't want to leave the house. So I just decided, hey, if I'm not going to see any live music, I'm just going to play some concerts at home. And I just rocked out and I had fun. And that helped my emotional and mental stability so that I could always be driving forward and making money in my business and staying focused. Small change number nine is do something out of your comfort zone. Now, a couple of these things may have been out of your comfort zone. Maybe all of them are out of your comfort zone, but getting out of your comfort zone is good. Getting out of your comfort zone is frustrating. Getting out of your comfort zone is aggravating. Getting out of your comfort zone is confusing. And it's meant to be. That's what growth is. Growth is frustrating, it's aggravating, it's confusing, it's, 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 it's saddening, it's all of these things. Because again, if you're trying to change, if you're trying to grow yourself, you are getting out of your comfort zone, you're doing things you don't normally do. If you want it, if, you, if doing the same stuff you always do and always did got you to life where you want to be, that's great, but you got to change something if you want to change something, if you know what I mean, right? And change can be hard. So I've exercised this muscle throughout my life, okay? Dropping out of school, way out of my comfort zone. Quitting my job, way out of my comfort zone. Starting a business, way out of my comfort zone. Starting marketing campaigns and failing campaign after campaign after campaign after campaign. Just failing over and over in my business, again, horribly aggravating, out of my comfort zone. But all of these things, all of these decisions that have made me who I am today have allowed me to exercise the muscle of free will. They've allowed me to exercise that muscle so I start moving towards my goals and my dreams rather than staying in my little box, my little salary, my little corporate ladder, my little, you know, horrible, you know, whatever relationship patterns that I had been in 
All of these things, these muscles of uncomfortability have allowed me to live a life where I'm living on my own terms. Are you? And the last suggestion, the best one yet is subscribe to my channel. Smash that subscribe button, also spank that like button and leave me a comment about what small change you found to be the most impactful for yourself or which small change you are dedicated to doing. Again, subscribing to my channel is probably up there for most of you folks and the reason why is because I release videos on business, on mindset, on marketing, on income ways, ways to generate income through both on, you know, using the internet and also through investing. I've been able to make millions and millions of dollars per year in my business and I'm devoted to sharing some of that knowledge with you know, really anyone I can here. If you want to read more about my story, check out my channel. Looking forward to seeing you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.